Hey everyone, this is Hollander Cooper here with Ryan Telgeny doing a quick play for DMC Devil May Cry, the redun most redundantest named game of the year so far. Devil May Cry Deuce. Yes. Uh, so we're trying out a, a nightclub level, Dante. playing a obviously new Dante. That angel, fake angel lady, loves her or loves him. <laughs> yep. So we're about to see the Limbo version of this nightclub. Limbo being the demon-infested universe parallel to our own, where they control us from the shadows. Yes, so there was a, so DMC, uh, in DMC's world, there's the real world, and then there's like a parallel universe that sort of overlaps and runs under it almost. Yeah. Where yeah, demons, yeah. like you can see, you're sort of seeing, he's being pulled into Limbo, which is sort of the, the same world, except everyone is shadowy, and there are Deedle, uh, Deedles. Deedles? Deedle uh <laughs> Demons, and that awful looking belly thing going on. <laughs> and once he gets pulled Quite into horrifying. Limbo, Let's dance. Let's he, gets dance. To, he gets to be snarky and kill enemies. So there's eight weapons in this game. Yeah, this game is weapon heavy. Uh, to the point where I actually kind of got overwhelmed sometimes. So you have your basic rebellion is the sword. Uh, Correct. Ebony and ivory. Give him, give him, let's do some ebony and ivory action. Oh, no, that's, that's a shotgun. There we go. Oh, yeah, oh, 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 oh. Ebony and ivory. You can see it's uh, pulling up the uh, score on the right, so depending on how well you do. Those pretty much play like traditional DMC, but you also have uh, two Chakram, uh, oh. whose names I forget. Aquila. Aquila, Aquila. I think. Uh, you have These an axe. Guys here. Bye -bye. You have an axe. Uh, Arbiter. Arbiter. Oh. Arbiter's, I mean, it's, I mean, all the weapons in the game function pretty much exactly like you'd expect. And he also has whole cams. And you have these two really awesome whips that bring enemies to you or you to them. Yeah. There's two different versions of them. Yeah, so and see that red guy? You can only use uh, the... So essentially anything, if you hold the left bumper, anything you do is empowered by your angel side, which means you're using angel weapons and stuff. And if you hold the right, right. or the left bumper, and if you hold the right bumper, you get demon stuff. And that guy, since he's red, can only be affected by demon weaponry. It's almost like Ikaruga-y, sort of, where you have like... Or uh, or out outsiders, outlanders, outlanders. That, uh, yeah, down level game was called. Yeah, it gets overwhelming sometimes, especially because they'll like sometimes throw like that red guy at you at the same time as a blue guy. Right. And I think what they want you to do is to make them fight. You can kind of like if you stand between them, they can hit each other and do damage. But that's super complicated. So oh, I ended yes. up just like Hulk hands. I ended up just like running from one side and trying to distract one and fight the other. Yeah, I found it to be kind of problematic at times because. I don't know. I felt really bummed when I could. Oh, I was restricted to two weapons when fighting some of the enemies. You know? Yeah. It's like because the whole time you're told try and vary up your combos, use all the weapons you have. But and then it's, it's like now I can only use one of them. Yeah. So. That chick's though a witch. Yeah. She, she can puts that immunity shield on some enemies. And the, when they're in that shield, I mean it's pretty simple in that anything that's blue can be hurt by blue, anything that's red can be hurt by red. So once she has that shield on her, you just have to use angel stuff to break the shield off. And you have that shotgun. Do you have the other gun that yeah. isn't, isn't that interesting? Yeah, I didn't like that gun at all. You don't have to use it. I don't think we have to show it off. The gun's dumb. Oh, oh. Why are you swinging Hulk hands I'm, like I'm, an idiot? I'm trying to get rid of her shield. Ugh. Yeah. Oh, now, did you have any problems getting those SS S combos? Uh, getting them? No. Keeping them? Sometimes. Because yes. hmm. there'd be times where I had them and then an enemy would just punch me in the back of the head and then I'd like lose them and be all sad about it. Right. But most levels I ended with like A and S, but I was only playing on um, regular difficulty. We're on Nephilim now. Yeah, this is, is Nephilim, the, the hardest default difficulty you can use before unlocking ones later on. Tell me, Dante, what brings you here? Yeah, that, that woman is uh, very unpleasant, and <laughs> she's just, she's like, look at her, you can see that she has like a weird messed up face, kind of. She's basically a demon wearing the skin of a woman. Yes. And it's really weird because sometimes she takes the skin off. Yeah, it's creepy. So this is the thing about Limbo. Uh, it gets messed up pretty quick. Yeah. And things I, just change around like that. I loved that aspect of the game because in most games when you're walking through a city or whatever level you're in, it's just, it never changes. It's the same. Like, you can see it and it's cool. But in DMC, the level constantly shifts around you. And you never kind of really knew what you'd end up seeing, which is awesome. One issue, though, is uh, I'd say enemy variety is sort of an issue with the game. That was one of my biggest problems with it. Is there are like seven enemies, and then you just see reskinned versions of them. Or like, now he has a shield! Yep. Oh no! 
Oh, you're the worst. Yeah, that um, didn't go well. That image right there represented every relationship you've ever been in. <laughs> uh huh. Big fat guy tackling you. Dad, what are you doing in this video game? God. I mean, they do take full advantage of all the. I mean, I, I genuinely like the variety of items you have because it, like. You do get to do cool stuff with them, and the enemies do take advantage of them. It's just a shame there aren't more of them. Uh huh. Did and you also find that like you ran out of upgrades that you actually wanted to use? Uh, so I found that so, so every every weapon you have, I mean, aside from uh, let's activate Devil Trigger a second here. Super Saiyan mode. Um, I actually didn't. Uh, whenever, uh, see, I actually didn't remember until just now that you could use it when it's above that line. I thought it had to be full. Oh yeah, man, that well, would have made the game a lot it'll easier. It'll save your ass a lot of time just because uh, it regenerates your health while right. it's active. Boom. Yeah, uh, I love chaining the combos together too with the whips that you got. Like those made it super awesome to be able to keep chaining things together. Yeah, and I mean, if anyone was worried that this game wasn't going to have, like, the signature gameplay, that worry oh. was super unfounded because the gameplay is actually the strongest part about it. Honestly, I, yeah, I think, I really feel like this is the best combat DMC's ever had. And I, I, I think it's kind of ridiculous that uh, some people would just be willing to dismiss it entirely. I mean, I understand the, uh, the worries that, you know, Ninja Theory couldn't quite take Capcom's beloved hack and slash game and do good by it, but you have no idea who you're those worries are completely unfounded after having played through it all. Yeah. Did you also find that like well, there are a lot of upgrades and moves you can use that are like attack, attack, pause, attack, attack? Yeah. I don't think I ever used any of them. Oh, uh, you know, I got in the rhythm of using them once I got really obsessed with trying to constantly get really good ranks. Uh, and we can take a look at some of the upgrades here, actually. Uh, so there are separate resources now for buying abilities versus items. So you can see you can get just general moves like uh, different kinds of evasions or double jumps. And then there's also, of course, upgrade tons of upgrades for every single weapon. And you can see that white cylindrical symbol in the upper right corner of the screen. That is to show I can buy one upgrade, which I will complete this. Boom. Now all upgrades for Osiris is the name yes. of the site. Dante. That's right. I'm not here to play your games. Oh? She's literally like it's turning this a dance club into a video play. game. You actually have yeah. to hit giant play buttons. Yeah, this is fun. That's the wrong button. How do I do it? Oh, there you go. go. It's quite simple, Dante. Survive and all the levels were like really, really imaginative like yeah. this. It was so cool. And both you and that little bitch yeah, this is, is they do a really cool job of making each area feel very unique. Oh. Use your right thing. Yep. So these red and blue tiles, you have to have active your demon or angel abilities res respectively to not take damage while walking on them. Yeah. Also, I, I know you liked the platforming a lot more than I did. I did, yeah. I thought it was fun. I Most found that of like, it... stuff like that was fine, but I feel like when you have to do that, you saw he, you, you do that glide thing. Yeah. Sometimes when you do that glide, you'll overshoot platforms or like you just, it doesn't like aim you towards the right platform sometimes. Oh, this is cool. You can kind of see the uh, floor shifting underneath of me. No. I think we've uh, shown off enough of this level. Do you want to try out one of the uh, boss battles from a little yeah. earlier in the game? Yeah, let's do that. So this boss battle is like uh, half, actually exactly halfway through the game. Yeah, yep, the exact halfway. Though I feel like oh. the second half went a lot faster than the first half. It did, yeah, because a lot of the missions later on are like just boss fights. There's nothing else in the mission. Yeah, but um, um, this is level, this is the 10th chapter, and uh, you're fighting their Fox News parody character, yep. Bob Barbus. Bob Barbus, just doing God's work. That's his favorite catchphrase. And <laughs> you know, uh, I'm curious what you thought of the boss battles. As, as I said in the review, I felt like a lot of them were really awesome to look at, and the, and they were while they were enjoyable fights, I never felt like they were particularly challenging my combat abilities. Yeah, they they were they were fine. Like if they had anything I'm interesting no about them, it was the cool cool visual thing. It wasn't really the mechanics. As and you can see, I'm upside down because Limbo City just does that sometimes. Limbo's all messed up. Yeah. It's got some problems. Um, and actually, we got to show some of the platforming you were complaining about a little bit ago here. Yeah. Sometimes it's okay. Other times I feel like it was just, uh, I'll use the word fiddly. 
to describe yeah, that's the fair controls enough. Cause, well, when it comes to most the of the platforming mo most of the time you're going to be using the whip things to hook onto anchor points and pull you across certain sections well that's unfortunate that's going to make crossing that bridge more difficult but it's okay because now we're right side up Man, I'm glad they make you go right side up though, because probably platforming Good. upside down wouldn't have been have uh, particularly I'd fun. Still be I'd still be trying <laughs> and failing. So yeah, this is something I had an issue with. Like it wasn't bad, but sometimes I'd glide and it just wouldn't put me towards the item, towards the thing I wanted to go towards. Oh God. So here's uh, the whipping anchor points. You have to use certain, there are again, two different whips. You can use the angelic one and the demonic one. And sometimes also, like, I felt like this was, this, 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 this should have been cool, but it was so clumsy. Yeah. That exact like, scene right there. Just run for it and you'll be okay. There were other times where I feel like the, uh, it wouldn't, the whip wouldn't grab onto the thing I wanted it to grab onto. I did always. have, a, oh yeah, I had occasional issues with that myself. Here we go. Bob arms. Boom. So this is essentially in their universe, a demon run news network that's like a global and they also handle all like monitoring of people it's not even just fox news it's like fox news mixed with big brother yeah um i really liked the slight little bits of social commentary they were doing where i didn't even know that it's so much social commentary as it was just a cool uh look into just how much of a parallel universe limbo is to right. our own like you'll be walking by a sign that'll say "drink virility," and then it'll, which is the soft drink the demons use to control mankind. I love this. I wish there was an entire level like this. Yeah, that I was know. actually one of my complaints. Like, it's it's crazy when you play a game like this, you realize how limited the color palette of your average game is when you look at like nothing looks like this. Uh, Every other game is so much grayer and darker, and then this game yeah. is just like screw it. Every color is up for grabs, <laughs> which realistically you should have in games. Here we go. I think, is it? Yeah. Could it be? Boom! It's just really interestingly done, this, this, this boss battle in particular. It took me a while to figure out the gimmick, but once I did, I loved it. Yeah, uh, yeah, I see, like a lot of the bosses in this game are like humongous. They, where you kind of just slicing at their fingertips or whatever when you're on a ledge. Uh, other ones like this one are really all about hitting like the obvious glowing weak points. I, I really love that DMC has you fight giant hey, Republican Andros. <laughs> it's essentially what it is. My personal view on the terrorists is that they are disgusting, degrading, ghastly, sleazy. We'll curious, skip this. I love his smile. He's just like, yeah, yeah, keep it up. There we go. And you get to fight him. So basically you just run around punching these glowing circles. <laughs> Until Bob Barbus freezes up and then you go slice his face face a bunch. Yep. It's just a cool I didn't I like I didn't know how this battle would actually unfold. So I'm like, okay, I guess I'll fight like a an overweight Boom. news commentary and guy. And jump out of that. But when you actually have to do it, it it's it's I think this is probably the best boss battle in the game. Though yeah. they, they, I don't think any of them are necessarily bad. Oh. It's just that some of them are like you said, they're just super... Ugh, don't get hit by that. Like, this enemy has a giant weak point. You should go smash it. Like this. I mean, even this guy, I guess, is like that. Did you like the music in this game? Yeah. I thought it was awesome. I mean, I know like, it was dubstep-heavy, but I didn't care. I loved it anyway. Yeah, it was like this weird fusion of dubstep and rock. It was really cool. <laughs> I love this part, too, where you, like, sweep in through his eyeball, and now you're in the real world. Yeah. Kind of. Now what Maybe. we have here is some truly shocking footage. The it's just such an inventive boss dodging. battle. I wish I wish they were all this good, actually. Yeah. The other well, ones are good. Just this one is like this is such This is this is what I wanted from Ninja Theory. Yeah. Like this is something that like I feel like so few developers would take a risk and do such like there's a ticker on the bottom of a of a a video game level. Like <laughs> Is a sweet Let's see if I can get to SSF. Really enjoyed working with children. It's just such a brilliant idea. Like, uh, I mean, I guess not every game could do something like this, but I feel like not every developer would actually well, take a risk like this. And the funny part is too, like, they're trying. The demons are trying to brand Dante as a terrorist in the real world, so he's easier to find and put an end to. And while you're in these segments, they're just like talking all kinds of crap about him. They, they, they just love calling you like with no context, just being like, he's also a sexual deviant. <laughs> no, no excuse given. Oh man, just, like, I had. He 
murders children and is a sexual deviant. Sexual disease. <laughs> they, they, <laughs> he just loves spreading sexual disease. Which, granted, <laughs> it's probably true. And then you pop back out through his eye and beat him up some more. So let's end this here, actually, so we don't spoil the whole fight. You've seen a, a good portion of it, but yeah, this is a. Uh, why would you run in to get hurt? Oh yeah, through the yellow. Through this the is uh, this is DMC, and uh, you can check out our review on GamesRadar.com. Yep.